So what is going to happen to the crypto market if the SEC decides to pursue a lawsuit against Ethereum and the Ethereum Foundation? Well guys, in this video I'm going to reveal exactly what to do if this happens and 5 coins that will likely 100x. This is going to be a very serious video so don't expect any fancy edits or anything like that. I'm here to provide value and perspective. And if you think that this is not likely to happen, Make sure you watch my previous video where I explain exactly why the SEC has grounds to sue Ethereum. Okay, so in the case of Ethereum being sued, we will most likely see a major dip in the crypto market. Going straight to the charts, this is Ethereum and you can see that we have not broken previous all-time highs. This already shows a weakness in Ethereum. We have also started retracing based on recent bearish news about Ethereum, specifically about the denial of Ethereum ETFs and speculation about an SEC lawsuit. And of course, we can expect this retracement to continue all the way down to a previous support level, around 22,000 and 24,000. This would pretty much be a 33% correction on Ethereum. And if we go into Bitcoin, we can see that the support level on the one week chart is between 50,000 and 53,000. Now, this would be around the 20% correction, and the next level after that is between 43,000 and 41,000 and I don't even want to think about what will happen if Bitcoin goes down to there. The reason why this is likely to happen is because if we look at the liquidation levels we can see that the major liquidation levels are around 50k and 41k which coincides with our support levels. What's also quite disturbing is that the fear and greed index is currently at 75.4 which points to greed. Now this is down from 90 earlier this month however usually when we have a fear and greed reset on a bull run it goes down by 30 to 40 points and despite the recent retracement we've only gone down 14 points so we're not even in the neutral territory which was between 40 and 60. Hi guys I'm shortly interrupting this video because in my original recording I forgot to give you the price levels of when we'll disregard my original thesis of the market going down. You can see that currently Bitcoin has started moving up and has moved up by $2,000 from the time of recording the original video. Later on in the video I will also show you how two of my calls that I give on this video have massively outperformed the market. Okay guys, so going back to Bitcoin, these price levels were taken from the daily chart and if Bitcoin breaks all-time highs again, retraces to find support at the previous level and then continues going up, my previous thesis for the market going down would be invalidated. That will be slightly concerning. The reason why is because if we don't see a correction now, the SEC does nothing at this point but denies Ethereum ETFs later down the line, we will have an even lower retracement. But of course, this information is only provided to you as perspective and the SEC might decide to approve Ethereum ETFs. However, as we already know, because I've covered it on this channel before, Bloomberg analyst James Seyfart has lowered his chances of ETF approval from 60 to 35%. So if Bitcoin breaks this resistance level, comes back to find support and breaks higher again, all bets are off, we're going to Valhalla and my short term bear case is invalidated. Now we're going back to the original video and I'll see you in the end. You will know that this is part of the video because you will not see the camera in this corner over here. Now this technical analysis alongside the fundamental analysis of a potential Ethereum ETF denial shows that this retracement is most likely not over yet. What's more is that the Coinbase app is currently sitting on rank 309 which suggests that retail's attention is not on crypto and although we have Bitcoin ETFs that support the market with institutional adoption the current ETF inflows have gone negative over the past week. If this happens we can expect Ethereum to retrace with a further 33% and Bitcoin with another 20%. Now, this is not to scare you or cause any FUD, but if this happens to Bitcoin and Ethereum, we're likely to expect retracements of 40, 50, 60, 70, even 80% on some of the DGN and meme coin picks. This might scare you at first, but this actually provides an excellent opportunity for us to buy more. And if you're underexposed to crypto, you're probably waiting for this correction to happen. Now, if the correction happens, where can we expect the highest retracement? Well, this will likely happen to projects that have pre previously rallied the most. We recently had a meme coin rally and an AI rally, so we can expect these two narratives to retrace the most. Now, before we get into any particular picks, let's see what we've learned from the market so far. In a usual market cycle, Bitcoin rallies first, has a slight retracement, then Ethereum rallies and has a retracement, then mid to low caps rally and have a retracement, and finally meme and DGEN place rally, have a crash, money goes back into Bitcoin and the cycle repeats. However, this is not what we saw this cycle. The reason why is because we didn't see as much of a rally from Ethereum. Now, this is probably because of the further around the ETF and the SEC lawsuit, but this is what the market did and all we have to do is adapt to it. Now, what we did see, however, is Bitcoin go up, have a retracement, so going up, having a retracement, 
mid to low caps going up, having a retracement, meme to DJ in place going up and having a retracement. And the reason why this happened is because of the recent meme coin rally on Solana due to its low fees. And I showed you a chart on my previous video where Solana had almost 4x the demand Ethereum had, which is very bullish for Solana and could potentially change the whole market cycle. Now, following the market cycle, the next step would be money flowing back into Bitcoin. However, due to the data I gave you earlier, we might not see that happen. And if the SEC decides to sue Ethereum and the whole market goes down, we need to have coins on our watch list that we're ready to invest in. So what narratives would my head turn to if the market continues to go down? Well, the very first one would be AI. The reason why is because Nvidia is not slowing down. It continues to go up regardless of inflation going up. And let's not forget the chat GPT is coming out this year. So even if we have a retracement in crypto AI, we're likely to bounce back very quickly. And actually I have two AI coins on my radar. The first one is OPSEC and the second one is Destro Network. Now I'm not really going to pretend what either of those do because AI is not really my sphere. However, both of them are being supported by Alex Becker who's an influencer with 1.4 million subscribers on YouTube and nearly 1 million followers on Twitter. And specifically for Destro Network, it's not only supported by Alex Becker, but also by Crypto God John, who has an additional 646,000 followers. Now guys, you know that often in crypto, price is not driven by what the project does, but by hype and community and these two influencers can bring both the hype and the community okay moving on to the next project you should keep on your radar and that is dog with hat yes it's a meme coin however meme coins have become part of the crypto culture and dog with hat managed to raise nearly 700,000 so that it can be put on the sphere in Las Vegas. This just shows you how dedicated the community of this project is. And you might think that this project is unlikely to reach 100x, but I'll tell you exactly why this is possible. If we look at the market cap of Shiba Inu last cycle, it reached somewhere around 38 billion. Now remember, every cycle is larger than the previous one. So if this cycle is only larger by 2x, Dog with Hat can potentially reach around 80 billion. Given the current market cap of 2.6 billion, that will give you 30x from here. However, remember that we're waiting for a retracement before we invest. So let's create a bull case and a base case scenario. If we are really conservative and only see a 50% retracement, this will put Dog with Hat's market cap at 1.3 billion. 1.3 billion to 80 billion is over 60x. And for our bull case, if WIF has a 70% correction, that will put it somewhere around 780 million market cap. 780 million market cap all the way to 80 billion is over 100x. And as you know, a 70% correction for a meme coin is fairly normal. If we go back to Shiba Inu, we can see that last bull run, it went from 13 billion all the way down to 2.4 billion, which is an 80% retracement. Okay guys, so so far we've covered AI and meme coins. Now the next narrative that I'll turn my eyes to would be layer twos. And the first coin on my list is Neon. And the reason why is because this project is the first paralyzed EVM on Solana. Not only that it's a layer 2, which I'm very bullish on, but actually this is the first paralyzed EVM on Solana. So it's very unique because it's the first of its kind and also it's on a blockchain, Solana, which has outperformed every other blockchain in the world and you can see that it's already on plenty of centralized exchanges so the liquidity is there it's a fairly low market cap for a layer 2 which is only 80 million and given the extra retracement that might happen this puts it very high on my watch list next one on my list is mint layer now guys this is a bitcoin layer 2 solution that is only 27 million market cap Remember, Bitcoin is the largest blockchain in the world and this is a layer 2 solution for the largest blockchain in the world that only has 27 million market cap. Now, just for perspective, Stacks is another layer 2 solution for Bitcoin and it's currently sitting at $5 billion market cap. If Mint Layer was to only reach the market cap of Stacks, that will be almost 200x from here. Hi guys, I'm interrupting the video one more time and I just wanted to show you how Bitcoin has risen with 4.4% for the day, whereas OPSEC has risen by 37.8% and Dog with Hat has gone up by 22.7% for the day. This is how you can see that there's still a lot of room left for these coins to grow. The others are also performing fairly well, Destra being up 6.7%, Neon 7.14%, 
and Mintler 4.56%. This is how a small move in Bitcoin's price can affect undervalued unique coins with a really, really good community behind them. All right, guys, with this, we're coming to the end of the video. If you like the information I provide to you, make sure you're subscribed and let me know in the comments below what coins from the list you would invest in. Goodbye and see you in the next one.